Musk changes the prediction and talks about artificial intelligence smarter than humans by 2025. Entrepreneur Elon Musk has once again talked about the advances in artificial intelligence and when such a platform will surpass humans. According to him, by the end of 2025, technology models will surpass our human capacity. According to him, quote, my guess is that we will have an artificial intelligence smarter than any human, probably by the end of next year. Wow. In addition, Musk said that he understands that the brain's capacity is different from artificial intelligence being smarter than humans. I believe that today it is already smarter than most, but in five years it will surpass the capacity of the brain because today we cannot utilize the full capacity of our brain. The deadline is a little different from what Musk himself stated on his profile on the social network a few years ago. He has changed. At one time, he predicted that AIs would be more intelligent than humans by 2029. He has now moved the date up to the end of 2025. Musk himself is quite interested in this prediction. He has his own AI chatbot called Musk, which is geared towards a more relaxed and casual language than other services. And there was even a test where he badmouthed Elon Musk himself. So it speaks the truth straightforwardly. The entrepreneur was a co-founder of OpenAI and owned the GPT chat, but he left the company after a disagreement with the other executives. In previous years, he also showed concerns in AI training and even stated that this technology was a fundamental risk to human existence. In 2023, he was part of the group that called for a halt in chatbot research due to fears of unchecked advancements. But now he no longer seems to advocate these precautions. He is investing heavily in artificial intelligence. For Musk, the biggest obstacle in training artificial intelligence is that the process itself, the infrastructure, the ability to collect data and train is becoming more and more expensive. According to the businessman, current challenges, including the shortage of processors, will be overcome but replaced by difficulties in maintaining an electrical grid capable of handling, meaning you need processing capacity and you also need processors. Let us know what you think of the news. Leaked OpenAI documents show that Sam Altman was clearly aware of the silencing of former employees. The credibility of OpenAI and its CEO, Sam Altman, is under threat. Last week, amid an unexpected series of executive departures and security teams, Vox revealed that the creator of ChatGPT pressured employees to sign strict non-disclosure and non-disparagement agreements. He threatened to regain the equity owned by employees who were leaving OpenAI, a company that is now worth billions. Reclaiming acquired equity, that is, the amount of company ownership that the employee has gained over months or even years of work, is a highly unusual practice. This is especially true in Silicon Valley, where tech workers often forego high salaries in favor of equity deals hoping to strike it rich when a successful startup like this goes public. For OpenAI to make such drastic personal changes to control the narrative about former employees is a terrible image for any company. Imagine you stay at the company, you forfeit a higher salary because you receive shares, and after a while the company succeeds, the shares appreciate, and then you become rich. In response to Vox's report, Altman apologized on the former, the old Twitter, admitting that he had a clause on the potential cancellation of shares in preceding exit documents. But according to the CEO, despite the clause's existence, the company never took anything back. He also claimed that he had no knowledge. Just like that, look at his position. But anyway, according to him, he was not aware. Yet, however, as per Vox, Altman was indeed conscious of the share clauses, contrary to what he claimed. The documentation that leaked, right, which was reviewed by Vox, reveals that several company leaders 
including the director of OpenAI's strategist, Jason Knoll, signed documents that clearly detailed this provision. Then Altman came along and said, no, there really was. I should have known, but I didn't. In other words, he signed without reading it, right? Anyway, comment below if you believe this story about Altman and if you find it difficult to believe in the credibility of OpenAI. Recently, a large chunk of scientists who were there from the beginning even left, and these scientists are precisely the ones who were involved in the security measures. Let's put it this way. They said that OpenAI's security measures were put on the back burner so that it could advance in technology. Comment below if you believe in OpenAI or if we should keep a close eye on them. Chat GPT gets a realistic avatar to humanize the system. Well, it's not official. It's not Chat GPT that gave it a face. Chat GPT gave it a voice. We made a series of videos about all the new features of the new Chat GPT. They're in our playlist, okay? Go watch them there. They're worth it. I'm sure you'll want to use them all, and most of them have already been released. But basically, what did they do? They got an avatar. Who's that, Rodrigo? Synthesia. I've already talked about Synthesia here on the channel. They're together with Agen the main company that creates realistic avatars. And recently they've created realistic avatars with emotions. So when you type a text and put in some kind of happy word, or you record your voice, you can have both a text prompt and an audio prompt, and it can tell that you're happy from your voice. So it smiles or gets sad or gets nervous or gets anxious. Let's quickly hit play here so you can see it. Interesting. The coolest thing about all of this is that chat GPT can now interact in a very natural way. It's practically that movie Her with Joaquin Phoenix and Scarlett Johansson. There was one, this is another piece of news, but there was a problem that chat GPT, open AI, copied Scarlett Johansson's voice and she almost sued, said, take it down or I'll sue. But that's just today's gossip. Let's play this. I believe this is the future. Let's play this. Hey, how's it going? Hey there, it's going great. How about you? I see you're rocking an open AI hoodie. Nice choice. What's up with that ceiling about? Are you in a cool industry style office or something? Well, can you take a guess at what I might be doing based on what I'm showing you here? Hmm, from what I can see, it looks like you're in some kind of recording or production setup. With those lights, tripods, and possibly a mic, it seems like you might be gearing up to shoot a video or maybe even a live stream. Yeah. In fact, we've got a new announcement to make. That's exciting. Announcements are always a big deal. Judging by the setup, it looks like it's going to be quite the professional production. Is this announcement related to OpenAI, perhaps? It is. And in fact, what if I were to say that you're related to the announcement or that you are the announcement? Mm, me? <laughs> the announcement is about me? Well, color me intrigued. Are you about to reveal something about AI? Or more specifically about me as a part of open AI? You've got me on the edge of my, well, I don't really have a seat, but you get the idea. What's the big news? Yeah, we've got a new model that can interact with the world through audio, vision, and text. And what happens? You show her the screen, she sees it, and then you ask, describe this here. What is your opinion about this? And she starts talking, but it's much better instead of you talking to a voice. You talk to a person with an avatar. So it became very realistic. It was very interesting. Comment below if this is exciting or scary. Elon Musk's artificial intelligence startup raises $6 billion. Man, he has the ability to raise money. Elon Musk's artificial intelligence startup XAI has secured $6 billion in Series B funding, valuing the company at $24 billion. Investors include Andrew Hortz, Sequoia Capital, and Saudi Prince Al-Walid bin Talal. This funding comes on the heels of Amazon investing over $2,750,000,000 in the Anthropic-based startup last month, totaling $4 billion this September. 
While Amazon offers AI services through Amazon Web Services, it still lags behind in the development of large language models, a field dominated by OpenAI and Google, which is also an investor in Anthropic. Both are leading the race to dominate the $1 trillion artificial intelligence market. I'm feeling poor right now. AI models heavily depend on large amounts of data for training. Elon Musk's XAI has an edge with its Grok chatbot, integrated with X, providing access to a great source of data and users. I've also made videos about Grok, okay? If you want to receive these videos in advance and also have several benefits, we have a YouTube channel club here. You have a WhatsApp group to discuss the news. You have a group of prompts to enhance your use of artificial intelligence. You have tips on the best tools. You have an image library. It's insane. It's a lot of benefits. The link is in the description of the video, be it from Spotify or YouTube, wherever you are watching it, okay? But also, if you are on YouTube, there's that little become a member button. You have several plans. Go and take a look, okay? Continuing then, however, as Google's recent struggles with its AI overview indicate, the quality of the training data is essential. What's happening with Google, man? Google has a massive database, right? We always search on Google thinking, I'm going to search for something. On Google, there are a billion pages, but what's the issue? There are good pages, bad pages, good information, bad information, and Google has not yet managed to control its artificial intelligence, Gemini. So, for example, Gemini recently said, What's the problem with pizza? How do you fix the falling cheese on pizza? Then it said, put glue, put glue. And are you going to eat a pizza with glue? The other day, it recommended eating stone once a day for wellness. So, I mean, you have to be careful, right? And all of this is about data quality. The importance of training data is emphasized by OpenAI's two recent agreements. The first is a $250 million deal with News Corp for access to journalism from trusted sources like the Wall Street Journal, Barron's, and Market Watch. With this amount of information, imagine you can gather data from journalism and enhance impartiality. So these agreements are quite fascinating. The second agreement is with Reddit, which also has a deal. Reddit has 100,000 forums and 306 million users. So like there are 16, I got it wrong. They have 306 million users and 16 billion posts. So that's also very interesting, a lot of information. But what's the problem with Reddit? The thing is Reddit has racism, misogyny, and religious intolerance. So it's fairly complicated. Then you can fall into that Google issue of having information there that can cause trouble, can give you a hard time. So companies are going after databases to train because when OpenAI started, what happened? It was all free. So it trained with the entire internet without any problem. But now people are restricting the databases. Everything is shutting down. And if you use it, you're going to be in trouble. So now what are they doing? They're buying databases, partnering with companies, but that's it. Comment below. What do you think of this news? Is it risky or not? Do you trust blindly in the responses of these artificial intelligences? OpenAI sets up safety committee amid rising artificial intelligence worries. Chat GPT creator OpenAI disclosed this week that it set up a safety and security committee to review its operations and safety measures. This is in reaction to the growing worries about the usage of rapidly advancing AI technology. The committee has 90 days to finish its evaluation. After this time frame, they'll present to the company board the suggestions on vital safety and security decisions for OpenAI. OpenAI's projects and operations, as stated in the company blog. This declaration followed the stepping down of two high-ranking officials, co-founder Will Kasekever and executive Jan Lake. Their departures sparked worries about the company's focus, since both were committed to ensuring a secure future for humanity amidst the advancement of artificial intelligence. To give you an idea, Kasekever and Lake led the super alignment team of OpenAI, 
which was tasked with creating systems to mitigate the long-term risks of the technology. I mean, the security team left and weeks later, OpenAI announced that we're going to set up a security committee, which was very odd. And this committee members are from OpenAI itself, which was kind of strange, right? But what I find intriguing is this news wherein technology giants promise to commit to security and artificial intelligence, including a kill switch to mitigate risks. This is the news, I believe. Big tech firms such as Microsoft, Amazon, and OpenAI also sealed a historical international agreement on the safety of artificial intelligence during the AI Security Summit in Seoul last Tuesday. With this agreement, companies from multiple countries, including the United States, China, Canada, the United Kingdom, France, South Korea, and the United Arab Emirates have made voluntary commitments to ensure the safe development of their most advanced AI models. Companies that have not yet done so have agreed to publish security frameworks detailing how they will address the challenges of their cutting-edge models with preventing the misuse of technology by malicious individuals. These frameworks will include red lines for tech companies, defining the types of risks associated with advanced AI systems that would be considered intolerable. These risks include, but are not limited to, automated cyber attacks and bioweapons threats. For extreme situations, the companies have stated that they plan to implement a kill switch that would halt the development of their AI models if they fail to mitigate these risks. What are these risks? These risks go against the development of biological weapons, use in warfare, etc. Something that threatens human survival itself. This news, due to the competition between companies, involves a system of checks and balances. One controls the other. One doesn't let the other go too far. I believe it, but I want to know what you think. Leave a comment below about what you think of this news. Which piece of news impacted you the most? And remember, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. If you're listening to us on Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, or Amazon Music, follow us and leave your comment there too. Remember, join our channel members here on YouTube where you will receive the news in advance. You will have your comments answered in advance. You'll have access to our WhatsApp group prompt exchange, tool recommendations. It's amazing, right? That's it. I'll see you in the next episode. See you later.